So in the previous video I posed a question of uh, I, I actually proved the SSS axiom that is if the corresponding sides of two triangles are equal then we will conclude that the triangles are congruent. The proof is very beautiful using a compass and a ruler you should go and watch it. But anyway you, uh, you don't need that information to understand this video. So this I, I left you with a question at the end and some people had a problem with it. I just said that if we know that the triangle is right angled and we know that the hypotenuse of each of the triangles is equal to 10 or, or any given unit, uh, any given length, if they are equal essentially. So if this is equal to this and any one other corresponding side is equal to that corresponding side. So if this is true, I will rub off this 10 and 7 now. So if this is true, if this side is equal to this green side and these hypotenuse, both the hypotenuses are equal and we know that the triangle is right angled, then do I have that the triangle is congruent? Can I say that? I will name this A, B, C and P, Q. Always when I want to say something important about the triangles, I think of naming them. Well, So triangle A, B, C, is it congruent to triangle P, Q, R? order is important so I am placing the 90 degree angle at the middle so is this true so let us think about it well if I know that this side is equal to this side so let me call this X and this is so uh, maybe H for hypotenuse I'll call it H so this will also be H because they both are equal and this is some side so maybe I'll call it uh, height okay height is so I'll call it B or, or A maybe A and this is also A. So do we know something about BC and QR? Well since this is a right angle triangle we know that BC is equal to or, or uh, rather BC squared plus A squared should be equal to the H the hypotenuse squared right. This is the Pythagoras theorem we all have learnt so many times. So what do what do I essentially get that I have an expression for BC somehow so minus a square and the square root of this whole thing so essentially I know what this side is I don't know what so I, I'm not concerned with it's complicated or not but it can be calculated regardless so I have already fixed this side this side is fixed given the two sides this third side has to be fixed and the same holds for this triangle also because even in this triangle the hypotenuse squared minus that a squared will give me the qr third side so haven't we landed into something interesting we again have our sss congruency because all the sides of the triangles are equal then we can conclude that all the angles will also be equal and hence they are of the same shape and size and hence this is a true statement so hope this quick video helped you to see that RHS is just a special case of SSS. So uh, if, if SSS happens uh, and not even if, if you don't even have to look at the third side but you should know that one angle is 90 degree and you spot the other two sides are equal automatically you know the third side would be equal because it's a right angle triangle and hence by SSS axiom the triangles will be congruent so now we have learned all the axioms of congruency we don't have to measure all the six measurements we don't have to know all the three sides are equal and all the three angles are equal we can just look at these things what are those things first is SAS the included angle should be equal and two corresponding sides should be equal and AAS, ASA, SAA all are same according to me because uh, when you know that two angles are equal the third angle will also be equal automatically it will be at because it's a triangle and the side one corresponding side is equal means the size of the triangles are also equal so all these things are in the same bag so and SSS a special case of which would be RHS for right angle triangle. So these are the axioms of congruency for which we have given suitable justifications even though they are axioms but we have convinced you that they are true. So I hope this helps. Thank you.